All right, here we go, guys, and I'm on John Skinner's 1990 Maverick Master Angler, 18 and a half feet long, seven and a half feet wide, purchased in late 2021 off the Hull Truth, the boating website. Somebody advertised it. Ironically, found literally five minutes from my home and about 10, 15 minutes from John's home in eastern Long Island, a Florida-built boat, really designed for the backwaters of Florida, the flats of Florida. It's a flat skiff. And it's a great story found just a few minutes away from each of our houses in eastern Long Island. And John, of course, has brought it back down to southwest Florida, where it's now uh, it makes its permanent home. We'll go through the boat. We'll, we'll go over the story of how the boat was found, how John purchased it, what uh, he's got into it total cost-wise, including repairs he's put into it. And really, a lot of folks on John's site, uh, John Skinner Fishing, have asked, what's the story with the boat? Can you do an overview? So this is meant to satisfy all those questions about the boat, its fishability, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoy the video. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. All right, we're here in beautiful Southwest Florida really hot windless day finally have a a, ba a break from all the boat traffic and we're on a mr skinner's john skinner's 1990 maverick 18 and a half flat skiff and as he was explaining to me he's getting his camera ready we're still doing a little fishing here as he was explaining to me there's a few different classifications of skiffs uh, we have technical polling skiffs i guess micro skiffs too skinner are one and yeah. remember your mic's on so you oh, we'll okay catch so you yeah technical poly skiff flat skiff bay boat and then what i would call regular boat <laughs> regular boat like a regular offshore center council like that one over there coming in at us um but we went five miles out in the gulf today beautiful day had no issues boat road great um, it's got a 150, it's a 90, the boat is a 90. What year is the engine, if you remember? 2001. 2001 uh, Yamaha HPDI VMAX, 150 horsepower. Not many hours on it. He just had Well, we don't know. You know, I mean, it says, it says that there's only 248, but that doesn't mean that the computer wasn't changed, you know? Okay. So, it would seem very unlikely. Well, the computer's reading 248. Um, let's take a look at the boat. It's, uh, it's a lot different than what we're used to in the Northeast, but for down here, this is perfect. Uh, we obviously, we were, we were fishing just now. We were uh, casting against this rock wall and catching sheep's head and some other stuff. Um, centerpiece of the boat right up front, Minn Kota Tarova. Uh, is it 60 inches or 72? What's that? The Tarova. 60. 60 inch, 24 volt, I presume. Got a big storage box under here. We got a lot of stuff in there now, um, but there's there's room for a lot more. You got rod storage on each side, wide gunnels. It's a three piece hull, so this is a cap that sits over the, the liner of the boat. And another huge box here. I don't want to bother him right now he's fishing but there is a a big box under here skin i'm just going to pick this up one sure. second just watch yeah, your yeah. knees so we got batteries in here but we also have tackle boxes we got underwater cameras and there's plenty of room down here for more stuff um and then we got more storage in the corners battery. that's the, the battery, battery stuff battery yeah. and then a no, lot no, not battery pretty storage. much storage yeah. storage yeah. here and a live well there we got uh, our shrimp in there with some buckets and stuff and you know, 18 and a half feet, I don't know, seven feet wide maybe. Two guys on the boat all day. We did not step over each other. We did not, uh-oh, uh <laughs> caught eating a sandwich, Skinner. <laughs> um, plenty of room. I don't know, three might be tight, but yeah. two guys. And to single hand this, this is, this is similar to your StarCraft, I would think. Mm -hmm. Not difficult at all. And just the, the perfect, these people coming by we see a lot of deck boats out here it's a big nortec over there just a little bit of everything here in southwest florida got people watching us in the uh <laughs> from the uh, little pathway here but uh it's a 
really big uh, offshore boat driving by with four engines. Again, that looks like a Nortec. I could be wrong. It could be a Midnight Express, actually. But anyway, uh, for the sounds, for the mangrove areas where, where you're often in two, three feet of water, this is great. You got another fish on? <laughs> yeah. And uh, Oh, so we're going to get to see how a sheep's oh. head eats. And there's the camera. I don't know, we might and, have to cut uh, that part John out. John has his underwater camera yeah. on. He, we're about to pull off and we thought we would, uh, a lot of people on his videos ask for an overview of the boat, but that's really it. And, and Skinner, there's a good story behind this boat too. Sure. Uh, and this isn't me looking for credit, but... No, you, you should. No, no, no. Yeah. It, 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 just the, big, the biggest coincidence ever, right? You were telling me, keep your eyes open. You were looking at newer Makos and you were... Uh, and he's tossing it because we have dolphins all around here. He's not being yeah. intentionally mean to the fish. There, there are dolphins swimming all around us and we want to keep the fish away from them. Um, he was looking for a boat for down here, a, a, a skiff type boat, and lo and behold, I was on the Whole Truth website, a boating website in the boats for sale section, and in the North Fork of Long Island where we live, this boat was for sale. I'm gonna say the price, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. $7,000, um, and if you will, we'll show some comparable Maverick 18s for sale, you'll see the, the prices are a lot crazier than that. So, I mean, he just now I put forty three hundred into it. You put forty three hundred in. It was nothing crazy. There was an issue. The guy couldn't sell the boat, right? Because there was a an overheat issue with the motor that, uh, it, that we won't mention. Marina names. It cost, it, it cost thirteen twenty to fix the motor up. The motor had like three problems that were induced by the, the other last dealer. people working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and then, then it was you just three, had all the steering yeah, redone. Yeah, the steering was the, the major uh, major expense. So there. you're still under 12. 4,300 plus seven. Yes. And that included a trailer. Yeah, a nice aluminum trailer, yeah. And like I said, we were, we were over five miles offshore today, um, and this just cut through everything. I, I wouldn't take it out on a, on a windy day, um, but for what John is using it for here in Southwest Florida, this is perfect and the price was perfect and it really is a, a, a great fishing room. Plenty of room for two guys even though it's, you know, not the, not the biggest boat and when you watch the videos you'll see we're, at least I was, using both the, the front cast platform and the rear cast platform and it, it's about two feet up. It's super easy to just step on it and, you know, cast out. It's a very short step to come back in. Um, observations, because I'd never really stepped foot on the boat before. I saw it. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> yep. The alcohol is flowing, flowing freely today in Southwest Florida, Skinner. Yeah. Um, my one observation, I didn't realize this, I'm so used to boats with non-skid. This doesn't have non-skid. It's not a big deal. You just got to be careful when you're, when you're uh, stepping on it. And it's also fairly flat in the back. It's obviously not a deep V boat. And when you're making turns, uh, it, it'll tend to slide out a little more than a deep V, which will dig in. Um, but again, for, for the usage here, this is a perfect boat, a perfect boat. Hey, and it's something he, f he didn't mention, maybe he doesn't know, is I actually saw this boat like six months before you told me about it. I, I, I ran into the guy, it was a guide out of uh, North Fork, and I was launching my boat one morning and I saw this boat on his trailer and I went over to look at it and said, oh, nice boat, I'm going to need one like this. Oh, I, I, and I, I did not know that. One. Yeah, yeah. So when I met, met the guy, you know, he, he remembered, yeah. Well, the crazy part of the whole story, Skinner, too, is that these boats are really... We know a few guys that have, you know, skiff-type boats, uh, you know, the, the, the designation below bay boat in our area, but the majority of the boats we see in our area are offshore center consoles, walk-arounds, expresses, um, inboards, but you don't see many skiffs down there. And to, to find, a, a, like, a true Florida legend, because Maverick has a reputation as just a legendary flats boat, to find it 1,200 or 1,300 miles away in eastern Long Island, and then to ultimately bring it back to where it originated, it's, it's, I think it's a cool story. Absolutely, yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed.